Okay, so we've had some requests um, for coming to the arcade machine and having uh, no display on the monitor. So you might have an instance where you come up to the game and uh, it be off. And so uh, this is what it may look like when you turn the game on. So what you'll do is, wait a minute, just a second, I'm plugging this in. There we go. Okay, so I just plugged it in, and what it's going to say is no signal on the monitor. Okay, so the reason it says that generally, if you're getting a, a sign that says no signal, then probably your cable going to the back of your monitor has came unplugged. So you only have two connections on this. So you plug this in, you're going to have two, one for the power and one for uh, your monitor. So, come around front and you're good to go. So, if that doesn't work, then it's going to be this plug that is loose, that just came undone. Okay, so screw those in, follow the wire, screw this in, okay. You know you've got power because it said no signal. Now. Another question is, how do you get in the machine? All right, now this one, some of the recent ones have this type of hinge on it. Uh, the older, a little bit older models that we have been dealing in have a uh, hinge where the whole cabinet opens up and this piece is also attached to the side, just like the original. But this seems to be a little bit easier to get into now. So, you've got two latches that close or that lock this lid down so you've got this hook here this hook here and then you have this hook and that hook so to get into that in the lock position that's gonna be up and then come down over this hook so when this is down it's gonna be locked in a downward position so you have to hold on one second. You have to reach on the inside and pick this and pick this up and pull it back. So if it is locked and you are reaching on the inside of the machine, you will get down, put your hand in, and then you will feel it. It will be in the locked position. It will be like this. So you just reach up and then pull it up. Now the only other thing you'll probably do want to do is grab this and pull it back because it is going to be hooked under you know this hook here so it's going to be in the down position and locked about right here so when you lift this up grab your finger pull it back now this top will allow you to open now you have to do that it's the same thing to both sides so when it's closed this is going to be in the in the closed position just reach up just push up on it and open it up now this is all done from the front of the cabinet so once that is pushed up and pulled back then these hooks these hooks are able to release so then you can open it up then you can check your cable make sure that you're getting video this is going to be your power. You're also going to make sure that you got a green light on your board and you're going to have a green light on your power supply. Sometimes um, you may have something that has came loose on the speaker and that would be down here if a cord has came loose on the speaker. Uh, if your red button does not work then you may have one of these plugs that have came loose. If your volume control does not work from this position and this is your up and down if that does not work you may have had one of these connections come loose so majority of the time it's just a connection that's came loose every once in a while you'll have a power supply that goes out you will have a board that goes out or a monitor that goes out but that's generally about the only pieces you know that you really um, you know have to worry about it going out and um, you know we 
have put a lot of these out and every once in a while we have to replace one but generally uh, once they're in location or in a home we don't have to fool with them again uh, the only other thing is there is a uh, plug that is in here that if you're not getting power to uh, it's down in the bottom that's where your your outlet or your plug comes into your machine on the back side um, the other thing is I've gone to locations where they have said oh my machine doesn't work well the only thing that's really happened is, is this plug has came loose all right we've had to go to locations because they said their machine was not working and all it was was the plug was not seated in there correctly or this switch was not on so just try to make sure the switch is on make sure this is plugged in make sure your lights are on the inside or running and make sure your connections are tight then you should be good now when the machine starts up it's going to start counting and it's going to go up to 60 and then you'll be in uh, play mode uh, depending on what you last had it set on whether it was coin op or free play so and again to lock this lid um, you will go ahead and pull these two in the downward position so you have both of those and whether you have the type that has the hinge here or the whole um, cabinet opens up if the whole cabinet opens up then your glass is going to be more on the ground so you'll have to lift it up and then get it to this position and then close it but you need to have these open in the open position first then you'll need to release this and then you will drop this down make sure it's tight and then you're going to reach in and you're going to push up and then you will feel the little uh, uh, catch and you can feel it lock you do the same thing the other side reach in push it up and then pull down and then now you're your cabinet's locked and you should be good to go from there um, press start button to get into your selections move the joystick to whatever game you'd like once you get to the game um, then you're good to go then you just press one player two player and that goes right in the machine yep so now if you have don't have volume open it up turn the knob to the right and now you have one. If you have any questions, you can reach us at Game Room Gallery in Ridgeland, Mississippi. That is going to be area code 601-853-7777. We offer uh, the cherry cabinet. Uh, we also offer uh, the walnut cabinet and as well as black these great hydraulic stools that lift up and down we have the upright machines and then we have uh some new multiple games that are amazing that have uh, uh these have 2000 games and i'll do another video on those